this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Cozy Rock's Excel task to rename a worksheet in an Excel file. So the situation is that we have a single Excel file and we have one worksheet in it, but we don't know the name of that worksheet. We do know the name of the Excel file. And we do know the name that we want to rename the worksheet to. So I'm going to start out by defining the connection manager for to point at the Excel file. And we need to use the Excel Plus Connection Manager, which is Cozy Rock's Connection Manager, and we need to use that to work with the Excel task. And the file name is called abc.xlsx. And now I'm going to define a variable. So the way the Cozy Rock uh, Excel task works is you choose an action, and the action we're going to use to get the name of the worksheet is called get worksheets list. So it thinks it's going to be reading in a list of worksheets, and in this case it's only reading in one, but we need to use an object type variable for that. So we'll define that now. And we call it object Excel result. And we set the data type to object. And now we're ready to drag the Excel task onto the control flow canvas. And we're going to use this twice. The first time we'll use it to get name of worksheet. Now we'll go in and open up the editor to configure it. So it's already, the action has already just defaulted to get worksheets list, which is the action that we do want. And we're going to point at that connection manager I just set up. And we're going to point at that object variable we just configured. And that's all we do there. Now I'm going to use a for each loop container because we have the worksheet name in an object type of variable but we need to extract the first name from that object variable. It's the first and only name, but uh, this is how we're going to do it. We're using the for each loop container. So we need to set up the enumerator to be for each from variable enumerator. And then, of course, we're going to choose that object variable that we set up. And then for the variable mapping, we need to set up a new variable for the first worksheet name in the list, first and only. So we click on new variable here. And I want to scope it to just the 4-H loop container. And we will name that there underscore old underscore work sheet name. And uh, it's a string type variable, and we need to set a value here, so we'll call it uh, sheet name. So if you don't set this, you're going to have an error and you won't be able to execute. So make sure you define something there. And uh, it's not going to match the actual incoming worksheet name, of course. So that's all configured. Now I'm going to use the Excel task again and drag that inside the 4-H loop container. Double click to open up the editor. Uh, we want to change the action now to rename worksheet. So there it is. And we need to set up the connection to point at that same connection manager. And then when we selected Rename Worksheet as the action, that enabled this Expand Options button up there. So we need to do that to be able to use a variable for the old worksheet name. So we set that to true. And we'll go find that string variable we set up. Uh, the name, the new name is just going to be data, so we don't need to use a variable for that. We'll close that and we'll save it. Now I want to show you the file that we're going to be working with. So I'm opening that so you can see the actual name of the worksheet, which you wouldn't be able to see that in real life. So it's named random underscore name. 
So now I'm going to save and execute the package. And it worked. So now we'll go look at that file again. And the name of the worksheet should be data. And it is. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.